hello. Here we have Beth. Hello. <laughs> Beth is four months old and she's currently weighing 15 pounds, which is very average for her age. And today we are going to show everybody, aren't we, how to put on a cloth nappy. We have the Bambio, Bambino Mio Solo, which is one of the most popular brands in the UK at the moment, if not the most popular. I think because it's just so readily available, you can actually buy this make in supermarkets. So at the moment, Beth is wearing her modesty pants. Aren't you for modesty? Yes. There are a few things that you have to do when putting on a cloth nappy that you wouldn't usually think about with a disposable. One is how far up you're going to place it. Now this will change depending on the age of your baby. If you are putting a cloth nappy on a newborn, it's okay for it to go slightly higher up because the cloth nappies are so big on newborns. But when they are that much older, what we're looking at is getting the top of the back of the nappy into the smallest area. We don't want it halfway up the back like a disposable nappy would come because you're considering leaks in a disposable. You're looking for it to go very high up the back. In a cloth nappy, that's not the case. You're considering comfort. They're less likely to leak than a disposable in my opinion, although they're not completely bomb proof. The next thing you need to think about is, unlike a disposable where you would just Excuse me, can you put your leggies down? Please, thank you. Where you would just put it up like this. That creates a huge bulk in here and restricts the leg movement. What you need to do is pinch in. Hopefully baby doesn't wiggle too much at this stage. But you can do it one handed if you're practiced. Yes. But pinch in and think about the elastics going into the leg creases. It does become very easy with time. So, you can, it can be done one handed. Can't it wiggle wiggle? Yes. It's obviously much easier when you don't have swim pants underneath as well. So those legs are now, those elastics are now pinched in. And the, what we need to do now is secure it. So much like a disposable, these can be adjusted. What I like to do is put my baby finger here and just put some pressure on the elastic so it goes around the leg. Place in place right there. Again, baby finger on, hold this down. Then we can do a quick leg check. This is what I do. Pinch here and just pull the elastic away if what you find is it's too loose and you pull away slightly and you can see it comes away from baby skin very easily. That's going to promote leaks. You don't want it so tight that it's going to cut off circulation and there is a lot of give in these elastics so it's not too bad. One thing I do like to do is alternate between brands. So this time I would put a Mio Solo on her, the next time I might go for a different brand so that it fits slightly differently. It's all the same principle for putting them on, but it will fit slightly differently so the elastic is not rubbing in one area on her leg constantly. But it's really not too much of a worry. So if, if I pull this now, it takes, it does pull away obviously, but it's going to take a bit more pressure. So there's nothing that baby can really do to move that and as you're picking them up it's going to stay on. Again, check the same with the other side. That is pulling away but it's most likely because we've got the swim pants underneath. So we just tighten that up a bit. And then the final check that we do, no sorry penultimate check that I do, is just check that you can get your fingers in round here. We want a nice at least a two finger gap around the, the middle. What you don't want is when baby sits up is this to push in too tight. So that's one thing I do consider when I'm buying certain brands of nappies. Some of them are so firm here they just will not bend. Bambio, Bambino <laughs> Mio's are not too bad in that sense but some brands can be they have a really wide band here so you do want to look at that. Another thing I do is just check at the back 
that there's a nice amount of elasticity here, but also that there's none of the fabric sticking out and a around the leg check that there's none of the fabric sticking out. And also just make sure that this is in the leg crease. What you can see here is that baby has the full range of movement just the same as they would in a disposable because you've pinched that middle. And that is how to fit a cloth nappy. Say thank you, Ben. Thank you. I thought I would just show you what it looks like without the modesty, her modesty pants on underneath the swim nappy, how the fit is. So again, we're pulling here, no movement. This side, minimal, minimal movement. That's going to be fine. It's nice and tight. In fact, it's a lot tighter in here. Now she doesn't, isn't wearing the swim nappy. And it's less bulky around here, as you can see in comparison to earlier with the swim nappy, but I can still get a good amount of space. Now, sometimes you do get this happen and that's okay. It's not going to leak. Certainly not in my experience with a girl, at least. It's okay for some fabric to be exposed at the top here, it's really not a problem. Where you're most likely to get leaks is around the leg gaps here and possibly when Poonami happens, uh-oh, and it all goes up the back, possibly here. Um, but that really does depend on how you've fitted it and the brand of the nappy. I do find it's a lot more likely to happen in disposables. It does happen in cloth, but uh, not quite so often, does it? No, no. So that's the fit of the cloth nappy without the swim nappy underneath. As you can see, a lot of free movement of the legs right there. Just to let you know, Beth and I do plan on doing some more videos on cloth nappies. Don't we? Yes, we do. Really? Yes, we do. <laughs> So if you would like to see more, please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Say goodbye. Say goodbye.